Hello peeps, this is The Trail, your traitorous chick, where we trade indicator free other than the 21 EMA. Happy hump day! Of course, with the holiday, this week is whizzing by. It felt weird trading only 50k accounts today, which is crazy considering that's all I've ever done until very recently. Today could have definitely been better. The market is still disappointing in its movement. I took a whopping seven trades today. Four wins, three losses. Let's review. My first trade, I took a second entry short at the EMA after a channel break. It almost felt reminiscent that it went so well because first I was wondering if prices was going to push back up above the EMA looking for a new high for that tiny trend channel but since prices came below the EMA I decided well maybe we're going to get that low for the larger downtrend channel and you know your mindset you have to be able to switch from going up and down and and usually that's not a problem but when it's near the very bottom or very top that is my problem area and I'm you know still trying to work through that this one worked out yay my second trade I took a second entry chart at the EMA again but this time I closed it early because we are right at the bottom and I really wasn't sure if prices would actually press through where I have that solid red line and if you were in stream you would have noticed prices bounce there for at least three more candles before it went through and I just felt like it was because you know that would be sort of like the triple test for it to turn back around and I just eh, didn't want it to go against me so I just closed it early and I know I shouldn't do that but my little psyche just couldn't take it my third trade I did it to myself people I was thinking it was going to be a second entry short, but I don't think I ever really got the first entry. Yes, prices are above the EMA, but so were the previous touches going down on this trend channel. But, you know, clearly I just read it wrong. I just thought it would push down. But I just think I missed the first leg or misjudged it. You know, if it doesn't tick below a red bar and that's what I'm sort of missing and it could just do it by one tick. I can't go by if it's equal lows and I can't remember if I did that here. So this one went against me and it was so big. It just you know, wiped out all my gains. And that is also the hardest part, that risk management, even though the bar was small, it it just wiped me out. Wah, wah. My fourth trade, I was playing a lower high, but I really knew better than this because the bar I came in on, that was the third bar where the EMA was actually going through the middle of all the stack bars. Why? Why? Why did I go there? I knew better than that, but I did it anyway. Bad, bad Latrell. This one, no bueno. My fifth trade, I took a second entry long after two legs back to the EMA and right at the bottom of the trend channel. Now, why this was so easy to determine actual two legs, I have no idea. Clearly, it's something with me. And you know, sometimes the candles can be kind of wonky. So, I don't know, I just need more exposure to all scenarios of when it's really 
two legs and I really should have stopped trading here since this was trade number five but you know I brought it down to six I was like mm, two more trades and I could probably be close to break even so I just kept on My sixth trade, I faded the breakout. And when this was a winner and not an actual, you know, morning or evening star, I should have stopped here. But I didn't. Like, why? Why? I don't know. I just, I don't know if I should feel more comfortable trading more. Because more, of course, does not equate to more wins because it's just another way of you having more losers and if your stop loss is really big it could just wipe out all the good you've done hence me digging out of a hole did I stop here no I didn't why why my final trade I tried to fade the breakout but it didn't work and it wasn't you know it wasn't one of those morning or evening stars either but the bar was big which made me feel like eh, it would go back in but you know when it comes to fading you're just gonna fade until the fade fails and eh, I went in where it fails I can't remember if prices actually went back up in it right after that or if it touched all the way down because at that point yeah I was like eh I should have you know cut my losses where I was so I'm not completely out of it but you know just a few legs back where I was from yesterday but it's okay we will press on Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to those who attended the live stream this morning. If you missed it, I've linked the video replay here. Be sure to pick that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we go live and new videos are uploaded. Welcome new members. I see you peeps. I'll see you guys tomorrow. May the trades always go your way.